The Bible said that when people, when men sleep, the enemy sow into their life. The enemy sow while they are sleeping. So while they are sleeping, men that sleep all time, men that sleep all time, are men, the enemy have advantage over them. And I believe that the Lord is about to shift you into another realm where you will take advantage of the enemy. The enemy will not rejoice over you in the name of Jesus. You must know something that the enemy don't know about you. You must recognize that and that can only come through the word of the Lord. And here is a message prepared by God to shift you into that dimension. As you sit by to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Shepherd. The knowledge of his character, number one. The knowledge of his ways, number two. Finally, the knowledge of his power. Ephesians 1. The knowledge of his power. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Hosanna Hosanna Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God The Lion of Judah The Lamb upon the throne we hail you most high i was caught up in the spirit many years ago and i had the angel singing this song i didn't write it it was a song that i heard and i brought from the realm of the spirit mm. we hail you we worship you we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you most hello madonna Hello, Madonna. Please sit down. Ephesians 1 verse 18. Spare me a few minutes, but I want you to be sensitive. Because I sense in my spirit, even though the impartation proper will be in the night, but there are some of you, your hunger cannot wait for night. Something is already being activated within your spirit man. There is a hunger that is creating an urgency in the spirit. There is an apostle. There is a prophet. The, the leaf, the leaflet of your destiny is being opened as a man of God. There, there is something in the spirit. A fountain is being broken within the spirit. I am exalting you, say the Spirit of God. Your eyes shall see. Your eyes shall see. Ken Shanes Kabata, Kabreka Tepa Kapos, Eprende Keparakoskiata. It's a new dimension. I open you up to a new season. Say the Spirit of the Lord. Your eyes shall see. 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 Oh. 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 Ali 
shas kabasha lege prande ge beretusia. Ha 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 Ephesians 1 and verse 18 the knowledge of his power huh. Paul was praying over the believers in Ephesus it was a jurisdiction that was under his apostolic coverage and mentorship and he was helping the believers to mature and he prayed a prayer he says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints I like the next verse and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in the world but also in that which is to come and had put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church even his body the fullness of him that filleth all and in all listen in all your knowledge if you do not have the knowledge of his power you cannot walk in dominion mm -mm. manifesting the experience of dominion is beyond claiming it there is access to the knowledge of his character access to the knowledge of his ways access to the knowledge of his power ladies and gentlemen it is at this realm that men in the spirit are separated from boys this is where the fountain of grace flows the knowledge of his power encapsulated within this revelation is the prayer request of many people the desire to heal the sick to walk in dominion the desire to manifest authentic kingdom power ladies and gentlemen you have been praying oh god grant me access to genuine spiritual power this is where it lies that you will know the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe I have spoken once the Bible says and twice have you heard that power belongeth to God the power to heal the power to raise men the power to deliver the power to speak the purposes of God over nations and shift spiritual climates the power to bring down revival across territories it resides in a revelation Please hear me when you have access to this truth my dear believers respectfully speaking you will turn taraba you will turn the north here upside down not just by religious bigotry and fanatism but a manifestation of authentic provable grace is one thing to say it but it's another thing to show it this kingdom is not only a kingdom of speech in this kingdom there is the demonstration of power he says and when i came to you i did not come in the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith would not rest upon sophia the wisdom of men but upon the power of god acts chapter 8 and verse 5 the bible says philip went down to samaria and he preached christ unto them Verse 6, it says, And the people with one accord 
gave heed to those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing. Man of God, this is a dimension you need to enter. People have heard too much. They need to see. If it is the gospel, men must hear and see. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Don't just tell people God is good. Let them taste and see that the Lord is good. Can I tell you sincerely? And I say this respectfully speaking. Do not downplay the role that the power of God has to play in bringing sinners to the cross in bringing believers to be transformed and in advancing the purposes of God the language that the devil understands is power it says Psalm 63 and verse 3 say unto God Psalm 66 and verse 3 say unto God how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are situations in our lives and in the lives of our family members to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered them favor that was sent was coming to you but satan hindered it the members that were coming to you were coming but satan hindered them Jesus announced his messiahship by finding and reading in a place where it was written concerning him. But he did not stop there. He closed the book, the Bible says, and the eyes of everyone was fastened towards him. And he saw a man whose hand was withered. And he told that man, if it is true that the spirit of the Lord is upon me, if it is true that he has anointed me to bind up the brokenhearted, to preach the gospel to the meek, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to declare the acceptable year of the Lord, if this is true, then I come with the demonstration of that spirit. Stretch forth your hand. And the Bible says the man stretched forth his hand and his hand became hale and hearty. Was it not by the manifestation of power that Pharaoh gave up on the captivity of Israel? It was not with discussions. It was with a mighty hand, an outstretched hand, nine plagues and Pharaoh was still stubborn and one more plague that cost the life of his son whoever told you Satan will let you go just because God said you should walk in liberty do you not know he's a stubborn spirit are you not aware of his resilience and his determination he will stop you from having children he will stop your ministry from having visibility he will stop you from going forward he will misrepresent you to your world it takes stamina and the administration of power to create your realities and your possibilities in this life the ministry of power the church was founded upon the platform of power the church advanced in the early days upon the platform of power the church continues to thrive today making destiny progress and advancing the program of God upon the platform of power please hear me power is not for preachers he, when he said ye shall receive power he was speaking to all men he said for the promises for you and your children and your children's children when i talk of power i hope you know that is beyond falling down and standing up no we are not talking about that we are talking about the ability to manipulate the spiritual the socioeconomic the physical climate over men until it becomes a reflection of the dominion of jesus power that does not translate to liberty is not power power is beyond a basis for marketing the ministry of a man no for many of us our pursuit for power is just as a way of of creating validation the assignment of power is more than that for every tear you see it is power that wipes that tear did you hear what i said everyone you ever see crying i want you to know that your compassion must be backed up by power to wipe the tears i have been 10 years without a child it takes more than saying sorry you stand as one who is sent by god and say in the name of jesus i bring you the power and the dominion of this kingdom 
why do we claim we belong to a kingdom of power and yet we are not able to demonstrate the riches and the power that resides within that kingdom it is because we have pressed for anointing but we have not pressed for the knowledge of the power that raised christ from the dead do you know the kind of power that was exerted that brought jesus from hades back to the earth paul said that you will know if that power can bring jesus from the earth it can take anybody from the ground to the throne the power that the grave could not stand is it a job that will stand it the power that the grave could not stand sin satan hell and the grave all these forces were defeated hands down in the face of that power and he said as my father has sent me so sent are you listen to me we're going to pray and wrap up for now but let me charge you as you come tonight come with your heart open you see when god gives us the privilege to travel to regions and steer believers like i said yesterday my greatest desire is not to be seen as a great man of god my greatest desire is to be seen as a privileged vessel that has been granted the grace and apostleship by god to be able to help hold the hands of many and bring them higher to greater spiritual pedestrians this is a nobler testimony than being a great man so every time god grants us the privilege let me tell you this and it's a it's disclaimer i will emphasize with all the miracles and the demonstration of the spirit the goal is not creating a celebrity out of this man a goal is seeing a man as a template for the possibility that everybody can enter in christ this is eternal life that you see the healing is the administration of eternal life great is the mystery of godliness that god can indwell a man and turn ordinary men to become sons of god they call the apostles zeus and hammers because they could not they had to add a divine a divine addition to them that you could not be ordinary men manifesting these possibilities that at the end of this conference as a man of god haven't traveled from all far and near haven't shelved your activities perhaps other conferences you should not just go back saying wow he was a good preacher but that you can import a grace you probably did not come with and return back with it ah, that men can see you and say is saul also part of them that you have accessed something from heaven light number one but power number two light number one but power number two in all you're getting get empowerment he said tarry ye in jerusalem i have taught you but teaching is not enough until ye be endued with power peniel 2023 it is not just that you are born to win if you are born to win you must be full of power it takes power to command dominion jesus was not just full of grace and truth he was filled with the spirit beyond measure is he not in acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth the bible says peter was speaking in the house of cornelius to the gentile church the bible says he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him what was the basis he was anointed with the holy ghost but he was anointed with power the disciples only had information and they could not do anything in the presence of the sick except when jesus sent them with his name they came back rejoicing and said even the demons were subject to us in your name but a time would come when they accessed genuine spiritual power and with that power they worked valiantly they advanced the purposes of the kingdom can i tell you the darkness over taraba the darkness over this region in the north is not just waiting for prayer through people alone as important as that is is waiting for men and women who have understood the full import of eternal life men who can stand like elijah and make declarations from one point not in a radio station not in a tv station the spiritual climate does not need that paraphernalia to respond if you have genuine power the spiritual climate wherein you have been you are domiciled can acknowledge the fact that the hand of god is upon your life not by being called a man of god but that you exude power power genuine power from the spirit when i began my work with god i prayed that i would know him sincerely 
but I pray this sincere prayer. Many of you may have heard it. Pat Robertson, he's gone to be with the Lord now. I heard his testimony as a young man when he was about to start ministry, 700 Club, CBN. And he prayed three prayer points. He said, oh God, grant me access to wisdom. Grant me access to favor. Grant me access to the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I went back and I prayed the same prayer. Because the Bible says there are two ways of becoming. Number one is to follow them. Number two is to look unto Jesus. These are the two ways by which transformation happens. Ultimately, we look unto Jesus. But for transformation to happen at a nuclear level, you must learn to follow them. There are some them who have obtained the promises. And I prayed that prayer. I said, Lord, do not send me to the nations if the only thing I have is a message. Do not send me to the nations if the only thing I have is an explanation. Creation is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. Grant and place something upon my life that in the midst of all these speakings, we can import the reality of the life of God and with it, correct and with it, create and with it, manifest divine possibilities in the lives of people. Can we spend two minutes praying this morning as we wrap up this session? Is it alright if we pray? Please rise up on your feet. Just give your destiny these two minutes as we pray. Just one prayer point and then we pray. This is eternal life. John 17 and verse 3. That they may know thee, the one true God, and Jesus whom thou hast sent. And I've broken the knowledge of God for you into three compartments. Number one, the knowledge of his character. Number two, the knowledge of his ways. Number three, the knowledge of his power. Let that become your prayer point. Father, that I may know you. Go ahead and pray. That I may know your character. That I may know your ways. That I may know your power. Is someone praying? Peniel 2023 let it be from the depth of your heart the knowledge of his character making you a believer with confidence void of fear because you know who God is the Lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love when Jesus came before the Bible would talk about his power the Bible tells us in John chapter 1 that he was full of grace and truth. Go ahead and pray. Reveal your character. Give me confidence. Erode my fears. Let me become like you in experience. Through the knowledge of your character. Pray for the knowledge of his ways. Grant me intelligence to understand the modus operandi of the kingdom. The spiritual pathway that leads to the various outcomes the systems of advantage that have been provided for the believer in Christ and then pray the knowledge of your power the power to subdue principalities and powers in experience the power to exert dominion upon situations and circumstances the power to rewrite the stories of men's lives to reprogram the spiritual climate over men to enthrone the christ across every strata of human activities to advance the program of god forcefully to keep satan and demons at bay to see to it that the gospel gains grounds across the earth let me have the knowledge of that power For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For one last time, let me lend my voice with that of his Lordship to encourage you that our session tonight is... I will just share one more thing, one more key tonight and then we'll have the time to be able to minister to the needs of people. 
I believe in the Jesus that ministers to the needs of people. Hallelujah. Yes. That the oppressed should not go back oppressed. And then, in addition to that, the Bible says he sent a word unto Jacob and it lightened upon Israel. That means every grace God gives a man should go beyond that man. You are only, it's like an MTN mast. Or you, you see how the mast is? It is kept in one place, but it does not serve itself. People are able to connect within that region. That is what God has called us to be. We may be stewards of this mystery. He has made us custodians by privilege and grace of certain dimensions of his power. But the goal is not to keep it. The goal is that freely we have received and we make it available to as many whose hearts are open. There are pastors, there are leaders, there are business people, there are many dimensions of graces that God wants to impart upon his people. Second Corinthians. And if you have not subscribed, endeavor to subscribe. And that will help us to do more. God bless you as we continue to pray together.